Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. It's exercise time. We're going to take a look at some exercises regarding inexact differential equations, non-exact differential equations, differential equations which are not exact, okay? So, yeah. And we are going to go ahead and find integrating factors. I'm doing all of this for a purpose and that's why we were talking about a few cases right here. We overall came up with five cases, okay? I, all, I only wrote out three right here because if you have, for example, y over x, then you are just going to interchange all that's p with q and all that's y with x. Same thing up here, if we would have h of y, then all the p's interchange with q and all the y's interchange with the x. I hope this does make sense to you, okay? All of this is analogous. And I want to be honest right here, integrating factors, if you re really want to find them, it's sheer luck, okay? You can be really lucky and find those uh, integrating factors really easily or you're going to be really fucked, okay? And our first example is going to be this right here, really easy one. But this one right here is going to be a really cool one later in the game because I'm going to find the most general integrating factor there is, okay? Using partial differential equations. I hope you are going to be excited for that. I'm going to post this in a few days from now, okay? so. At first, we have to check if this thing right here is exact or not. It's not exact. That's why we are talking about inexact differential equations, okay? But we have to check, okay? So if this thing right here is our p, this thing right here is our q, what we want to do? We want to differentiate our p with respect to y, leaving us with just x right here. But is this thing equal to, well, del xq? Well, we are going to see. If we differentiate this with respect to x, we are going to be left with 2x. Oh no, there's a factor of 2, my boy. What's wrong with you, mate? It's not exact, meaning we actually have to find an integrating factor. Don't forget how that works. We are going to multiply um, this equation by an h, it's an integrating factor, so no, this whole equation by an h, and then we are going to check if those new functions h times p and h times q are actually going to be um, equal when we take the derivatives. That was our point right here. And now we have found five forms right here, and we can just check, okay? We can just take a look at our integrating factor h right here, okay? And let's see, for example, if we just treat it as a function of x, okay? That's why I derived those before. If we just say that h is nothing but h of x, then our main formula is going to give us that h of x is going to be overall the exponential function of some m of u integrated with respect to u. Okay, what is m? Well, m respectively in this case is nothing but del yp minus del yx over uh, del yxq over q. Okay, meaning we're going to have the integral of now. We're going to integrate with respect to x. At first we're going to have del yp. Del yp is nothing but x minus del y uh, del x q, I'm terribly sorry, oh, what am I even saying? It's going to be 2x over our q, which is nothing but 1 plus x squared, integrated with respect to x. Meaning, this and that is going to cancel out. Also, we are going to have our e snack right here. It's just some arbitrary constant. It's just a result of this indefinite integral right here. That's the exponential function of the integral, we are going to have a negative sign, okay, negative thing that's going to be a damped something, um, x over 1 plus x squared integrated with respect to x is snug. Now, what is this thing right here? Well, that's, that's some really easy integration right here. Let's, for example, say um, u is nothing but 1 plus x squared, meaning overall that um, du over 2 is nothing but um, x dx, okay, that's something that holds, meaning x dx is nothing but du over 2, leaving us with exp of negative 1 half integral of, okay, this is going to give us du over u, e snack. du over u is nothing but the natural log, okay, leaving us with e to the negative 1 half natural log of u, but u is 1 plus x squared, e snack. 
and we, we are basically done. We can do some simplification. So this in, this in itself is nothing but um, the natural log of one plus x squared to the negative one half power. So e to the natural log of one plus x squared to the negative one half power e snack. But e to the natural log something is just a something in itself, leaving us overall with h being nothing but e snack times 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half power. This supposedly is our integrating factor, which is going to make this differential equation exact. Meaning what we have to check is if del y h times p is going to be del x h times q. This is our quest right here. Now we can just simply plug stuff in. So del y h times p is thus nothing but. I want you guys to notice we are going to have this factor of e snack on both sides. We can just cancel it out under the condition that's not equal to zero. We don't want that. Okay, it's the result of um, being e to some constant. e to some constant is never going to be equal to zero unless we let the time, for example, go to infinity or negative infinity respectively. So not equal to zero. We can just cancel it out on both sides, meaning our p was nothing but x times y times our integrating factor. So um, 1 plus x squared to the negative 1 half power. Now if we differentiate this with respect to y, it's just going to result in x over the square root of 1 plus x squared. I'm going to put it like this. How does it look for the other side of the metal right here? Now we are also going to have del x h times q, which is nothing but del x. Um, now we have our, um, let me see, what's our q? q is nothing but 1 plus x squared <laughs> times, or yeah, times, I'm going to put it like this, 1 plus x squared to negative 1 half power. This thing right here is to the first power, meaning if we add, uh, multiply those two together, we are going to get del x of 1 plus x squared to the 1 half power. If we differentiate that, what are we going to get? We are going to get 1 half, we are going to drag it down. And then 1 plus x squared, reducing the exponent by 1, leaving us with negative 1 half. That's good, that's what we have up there too. And also now the inner derivative is 2 times x. 2 and 1 half is going to cancel out. And et voila, those two are the same, meaning our differential equation is thus now exact. This is one of the integrating factors you can actually have, but, but there are more, there are infinitely many always, okay? So this thing, if you choose an integrating factor, is always going to give you a partial differential equation, basically. So there are going to be infinitely many um, integrating factors. This is just one of the many, 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 many integrating factors. But for example, I tried it out. If we go for h of x times y, it's going to go nowhere. It's an absolute mess because we can't extract our u from it, okay? There's no way. Same thing for h of x over y and h of y over x. Doesn't work. But one other thing that is going to work is if we just take a look at h of y. So if we just choose this as a single variable function, it's always going to work out in some way, okay? Um, it's just sheer luck if one of those other two actually work out. So just let me give you an idea what it is for h of y. h of y, like I said, we are going to interchange all the y's with x's and all the p's with q's. So we are going to have the exponential function of an integral. Now, this is going to be really nice. This is going to be a nice and wonderful solution in a second. We are going to get, okay, um, I'm going to write it out. We are going to have um, yeah, del xq minus del yp over p integrated with respect to y this time times e snack. What is this? That's nothing but x of an integral. Del xq was 2x minus x, then this is del yp over p, which is nothing but um, x times y dy e snack. Now you see this up here is nothing but x. x and 1 over x is going to cancel out. We are going to have the integral of dy over y, which is nothing but natural log of y. Okay, this is going to leave us with the exponential function of the natural log of y, which is nothing but y 
is snack. <laughs> That's a really nice integrating factor, right? This is a really cool one. And it's way smaller than the other one. So the calculations right here are going to be really easy this time. Okay, so if we take a look, del y h times p is going to be um, del y of x times y squared. Once again, leaving the e snack, um, we are going to throw it out of the window. Okay, leaving us with two times x times y. This is just what it is, okay? Dragging the two down, power rule. But is this thing right here actually equal to del x h times q? That's the question right here. What is this? This is nothing but y times one plus x squared. Differentiated with respect to x, partially. Now y is just constant, bring it to the front. If we differentiate this thing right here with respect to x, well, that's just going to be two times x. And it will allow you see um, it works out. You can interchange x times y to be y times x. Okay, this does work out. We are under real numbers right here, and it will uh, it worked out. <laughs> and yeah, those are two integrating factors. And yeah, you can try it out for yourself if any of those work for you, any of the others. I wasn't able to do it. Okay, this was the first exercise video on <sighs> integrating factors. In the next ones, I'm just going to simply use the easiest one. Okay, um, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and recommend the channel if you like. Support the channel such that I can buy even more Hageromo charts such that I don't make any mistakes on the blackboard anymore. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys, appreciate you. Keep watching. Whatsoever, it's so warm in here, 30, 40 degrees Celsius out there. It's abysmal. Ciao. <laughs>